10 years, Deschamps, hitting 10 years, mm -hmm. is a long time in any sort of managerial career. There's always a saying, maybe there is a sort of a life cycle to managers, but to be able to create success over and over again, rebuild sites over and over again, j mm. Well, I think as well, when you look at it over, the, I mean, in more recent years, people were asking for, to leave the position. After the Euros, yeah. they got knocked you know, out, All yeah. of a sudden, it's like, his time's gone, the, the discourse seemed to be that uh, the Champ was the wrong person, and now they're on the verge of, uh, you know, consecutive World Cup finals, and I think, we talk about confidence and all this stuff. When the when the squad believe in the manager, mm. then it helps. If they don't believe in the manager, and we've got Morocco, obviously they believe in the manager, and France, I, I would argue, uh, as you say, they, they sort of patch their team together. We're not talking about average players yeah. here. We are talking about <laughs> yeah. top elite players that they've managed to squeeze in. Um, <laughs> but they've got the confidence with each other, and he's doing, well, almost a perfect job, isn't he? His contract ends, I think, after this tournament. So let's, let's put two scenarios. If he gets knocked out here today, is the answer to what I'm going to ask different than if they win the World Cup? Should he stay beyond, Paolo? No, no it's, a good, it's a good question. Uh, obviously, if they, if they will be out losing, losing today, you know, it will be probably much easier to say that, okay, you know, like yeah. maybe it's time to, you know, like, uh, to move on, bring maybe someone else. Uh, if he wins, who knows, you might think that probably will be like uh, his time as well, you know, because win two consecutive World Cups, uh, then, 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 then the bar will be quite, quite high as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a good question, but, you know, we have to maybe to, to wait and see. Do you, okay, if, you, if he wins, do you think he should stay? If they do win the World Cup with France? No, obviously, if he wins, uh, it will be much easier, you know, mm. you know to stay and, and keep going, maybe go for the, for the Euros. Um, but maybe in his head, you, you might probably think this will be the probably the time to to move, to move. You know, maybe go for a different challenge, or maybe to to take a break and uh, and think about what to do next. Uh, but we don't know. I, th I think he still have probably a good relationship with with the federation, mm -hmm. uh, with the president of, uh, of French Federation, which is which is important. Otherwise, he wouldn't stay for ten years now. Uh, and that that's really important. And um, but obviously, you know, winning uh, will might maybe change his. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to stop. It's hard to say no. But there there no. is a good comparison, though, isn't there, with uh, Zidane at Real Madrid? Mm. I mean, after winning two Champions League, it's like oh, he's going to leave now because he's won two in a row. Mm. Kind of hung around for a little bit longer, didn't he? So, <laughs> yeah. no one's ever won three in a row, Michelle. Yeah. That's a different challenge altogether. I, I don't know. Would you, mm. if he does win the World, World Cup, would you want him to stay? Um, well, no, to give England a chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, for, oh, you for, know, you know, for could go to England. Who knows, yeah, right? Okay. Know. No, but in terms of what they've built, obviously, in his career, he's obviously a relatively young manager. Yeah. The squad is still fantastic. They've got loads of young players still coming through. Um, I think the the age is pretty well balanced. So, for me, they're going to be competing for a long time. Mm. Um, so I think it'll be hard. I think if they, if they win it, it'd be hard for him to say no to more. Mm. Um, and certainly for the Euros. I think they'd certainly go for the Euros, see how that goes. And then, of course, then if that goes well, then to try and go and get potentially the third World Cup when no one else has done it, then for somebody as determined and as successful as Deschamps, then I don't think you'd be able to turn it down. It's a life cycle of a, of a national team manager comparing it to like a club manager. How is it different? Is there always a life cycle? Is it longer for a national team? Uh, well, only if it's successful. Mm. Um, you know, it can be as short and as ruthless as, 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 as domestic football, but um, I think it's different in terms of, you know, you don't get the time with the players, you don't get as much time as you like, you can't do as much coaching. Um, I guess you have to have really good relationships with the domestic managers, um, pulling players in and out, and, and you have to be really, really effective when players are together because you don't get that, that long together. So you rely heavily on what they do at their clubs, um, and I think it takes a different style of manager. Um, you know, some people love to coach. They love the day-to-day -day stuff. They, you know, they love the rules and they love the daily banter with the players. And sometimes it's hard to get as an international manager. And they have the same pressure as well. If you know, imagine they are not qualifying for for a World Cup. So, you yeah. know, so you have the qualifiers yeah. as well, which yeah. you know, you can things change quickly. So, it's it's different. You know, working like in a club and uh, the national team. So. But all, all depend of, of the project of, of what they, they believe in the, in the manager. You know, like uh, okay, 
we didn't qualify or we didn't win a World Cup, but we still believe, you know, like you are the person that uh, mm -hmm. we're going to bring success, you know, to, to the national team and, and that's it. So sometimes it's just a question of, of that.